guys, so today I have an exciting video. I have all four of the Hourglass um, Ambient Strobe Lighting Powders to show you. I borrowed these from my bestie and I tried to convince her to be in this video, but she said no. Um, so what these are is they're by Hourglass and they come in packaging like this. Uh, just Hourglass's normal like bronzy brown packaging and then they're packaged in these mirrored silver metallic compacts. They open up, they have a little mirror here, and they are basically, I would call them like a glittery highlight, but it's supposed to be like a strobing powder, but to me strobing is just the new word for highlighting. It's no different, but we've renamed it because then they can sell us more things for more money and we'll spend it. Uh, I don't know if I said this, but these are $48 and you get 0.16 ounces or 4.6 grams in it. So you get like a good amount of product. They are smaller than their ambient powders, which I have one of those right here. So like quite a bit smaller and they're about the same price. Yeah, like this has um, 0.35 ounces or 10 grams in it. So they are less than half. So that's actually a huge difference. One big difference is these have glitter in them. So I'm gonna swatch them for you. And the first color is incandescent. And it is more of like a pearly whitey pink. They're all very similar, but it looks like this. And then like this, these are all gonna show up kind of skin toned on me because I'm the color of paste. Uh, the next one is a lot different. This is more of a gold one and it is called Brilliant. And it definitely is more yellow toned and shows up a lot more on my like peach toned skin. So there's that one. And then we have uh, Euphoric, which is has a little bit more of like a brown tone to it. Like a bronzy gold. Let me see if I can. So you can see that they're or even orangey. The first one, if you put them next to the yellow, it looks a lot more pink, but I think it's a lot more peach. And this one here is iridescent and it is definitely the most pink one. And it's like this. And I don't know if I hold it up really close if you can see the glitter in there, but it, unlike the, um, the ambient powder, it has a lot more large glitter in there. And I'm just gonna apply this to the top of my cheekbone using my usual Sephora contour brush. And I would just apply this <clears throat> like any other highlighter, just to the top. Strobing powder you're supposed to use on the high points of your face. So theoretically, they're saying to use it in your forehead, the tip of your nose, and down on your chin. It definitely has that like eternal with from within glow um, that the Hourglass Ambient powders. But those are the colors up close. You can see because I'm the color of paper, like you can really see the difference. If I were to buy one of these myself, which I probably am going to, it definitely would be between, um, not brilliant, I closed all these. I definitely would have to choose between incandescent and iridescent. And I would basically pick it by which one's more sparkly, which looks like iridescent. Uh, Cause I like me some glitter on my face. So I would say that they last as long as a really good highlighter does on your face. For me, highlighting, highlighters come off the face um, the quickest, so six hours of wear if you don't touch your face. You can always, and like um, to make it brighter and more shiny, is you can load up your brush and then you can spray some Fix Plus on your brush. Again, I don't recommend uh, spraying Fix Plus directly into our product or on your brush beforehand. And then you get a lot more glow that way. Um, if you spray, if you wet your brush first and put it in the product, then you're going to affect the integrity of the product. And when you're spending $48 on a small little compact, you do not want to ruin it. So don't make your brush wet beforehand, spray it after you've loaded it up. My only complaint is the mirrored finish of these containers or these pack the packaging looks really nice, but it gets quite a bit of fingerprints and it is a pricey highlight. There is other highlighters that are a little bit less expensive but, um, and do a similar job, but I don't think quite as nice. These are very nice. They're very glowy, very pretty. I am um, probably gonna buy one next paycheck now that I've played with Erin. So here are all four. 
I quite like them. And they are each a little bit different and they'll each look better on one skin tone or another. The yellow would look quite yellow or gold on me just because I'm such a pink person. So these are Erin's new best friends and one of them, once I decide which one, is going to become mine. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful and have a great day.